What's up guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to train an artificial intelligence. For that we need one thing, and that thing is that we generated all the data that I talked about in the previous video. So this is not exactly the same project in which I was working with you, but it's very similar. Like here I'm generating this data and the values are almost the same. But the idea is the same, that we have several attributes and those attributes are all stored here. So then, what is the first thing to do? First, uh, I like to use Jupyter Notebooks for this because you can see a lot of things. So here, we are going to use the sklearn library. And this library has a lot of things with artificial intelligence being the first one that you have a decision tree classifier, k-neighbors classifiers and a multi-layer perceptron classifier also known as a neural network. So yeah, this library needs uh, a pandas data frame. So for that, we have to transform the previous, the previous file, this one, we have to transform it into a pandas data frame. Another good thing to do is that instead of generating the file in this way, you can generate it in a pandas way. So yeah, you can use this function that I created here in order to transform that file into a pandas data frame, which is very simple. But if you can, you could better generate this file with a pandas format. So once we have the data frame, we can do a lot of things. First, we have to define the types because otherwise we are going to have problems. So in each attribute, you have to say that, for example, here, this is a string, this is an integer, this is an integer, this is a float, etc. Then you can see your data frame with this table calling this function. But the important and the cool feature of this is that you can see a plot of your data frame. So for example, here you can see the different attributes and the values they have during the test. But this is not a good way to see this because as you can see, everything is very, very messy. So yeah, there's a lot of things to, to see here. What you can do is that you can generate histograms. So here with histograms, you can see now in a better way the data and you can understand it in a better way. So yeah, once you've done that, like this is optional, like if you want to see this data, you can do it. But once you've done that, you have to create these variables. These are going to be the inputs for the different classifiers. Here in this file, I'm using all the classifiers that I imported from the sklearn library. So for example, here I generated those, those entries. And first, what I do is that I use the, the multi-layer the multi -layer perceptron, which is the neural network. And these are the, this is the configuration that I put it in the neural network. Also, another thing you can do is that you can use a small file and try a lot of configurations and then use the one that gives you a better result. Because this configuration was the one that was giving me the best result for the data that we are using. So yeah, once you created the, the classifier, what you can do is that you can test how good this classifier works. So for example, here, what I'm saying is that the neural network is going to use 10,000 iterations for his training, for training itself. So once it's trained, what you can do is that you can check how accurate the, the neural network is. And you can see here that if you divide the file in 10 parts, like for example, you use nine parts for training and one for testing. In that testing part, the 66% of the operations are successful, like your neural network is a 66% successful. And now, for example, if we go to the decision tree classifier, we have to know that the decision tree, the configuration of the decision tree is just the depth, the maximum depth that it can have. So for example, here I set it four and the maximum score that I get is a 65%. So almost the same as the multi-layer perceptron. Finally, we have the k-neighbors classifiers in which the configuration is 25. Like we are going to use 25 neighbors. For this, I recommend you using an odd number, never a 
never an even number. So if you check here, we have that the 64% of the operations have been guessed in a right way. So yeah, what we know now is that with the data generated and with the attributes that we use, we have that our classifiers guess in a right way the 65% on average of the operations. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's basically it. This is how you can train an artificial intelligence and how you can you can check if it's working well or if it's working bad. In the next video, I will teach you how to how to use this artificial intelligence in the bot. Another thing I want to show you is that you may not know what a K neighbors classifier is, what a decision tree classifier is, what a multi-layer perception is. I recommend you going to the SKLearn webpage. And here you have a lot of examples. So for example, here we are interested on classifications, on classifications. So we can go here and we have linear models, which are ordinary. So if you have any doubt about the, the library, you have here a lot, a lot, a lot of information. So for example, here you have the nearest neighbors, naive Bayes, decision tree. This is all related to data science. This is all related to data science. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood how to train an artificial intelligence. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Oh. Right.